I don't know if you know, but recently NASA launched their Artemis rocket, which is huge news. This rocket is going to enter moon's orbit, and as of the recording of this video, Artemis just spotted the moon. The reason this is so big is because this is the first time we're going to the moon since 1972. Now, of course, there are no live astronauts on this trip, but the Artemis program is a series of projects which will eventually return humans to the moon, including the first woman and first person of color. To be clear, this first rocket is not planned to land specifically on the moon and is more of a test run in order to test the new spacecraft and some new technology, such as the heat shield. Be sure to look out for future Artemis missions for the eventual conquering of the the moon. Now, as exciting as this is, we're not here to talk about the minute details of the mission. Needless to say, flat earthers are in complete shambles, so we're just going to make fun of them for a bit. Yo, what up guys? We are live. Vanessa Camera is here. She says, fakest shit I have ever seen. Oh, you're talking about the Artemis launch. Yes, that's what we're going to be watching tonight. We're going to break down the uh, supposed mission back to the moon. You guys hear that? NASA's going back to the moon with an unmanned mission. Oh, a computer rocket without any people on board? Oh, don't worry, we'll have humans on board in future missions. Artemis 2 will include humans, but will be kind of the same as the first, where we slingshot around the moon instead of landing on it. Artemis 3 will actually land humans on the moon, and the ones that follow afterwards will also include infrastructure, scientific tools, and habitats, which will mark the beginning of our moon colonization. Of course, when this actually happens, flat earthers will still call it fake. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter what we do. As long as they have the fake card, there's no getting through their thick skulls. Gee, I wonder why it's unmanned. It's a new spacecraft with new technology, so of course we had to test it beforehand. You know how they do it, man. They always switch away from that rocket to then, like, the rocket being, like, out in the blackness of outer space. They switch away to the booster coming off. They have all these camera cuts and edits in there. And so you never get, like, one clear shot of the thing, like, going into space, right? And if you go watch one live... You see your rocket take off, turn sideways, and then leave your view. It's almost as if we can't capture the whole thing using one single camera, and that multiple cameras is the best way to create the best viewing experience. Because at the end of the day, NASA also has to broadcast this to a live audience. Plus, if NASA were truly trying to trick us all, and they have all this CGI technology, they would be able to show us all of it in one shot anyway. They wouldn't need to do any of the cutting of the clips or use multiple cameras at all. If they have the technology to do all this faking, including the ISS and the old moon landings, they definitely have the technology to fake a rocket launch by using only one shot. Okay, just in case we get any trolls in here who are like NASA fanboys or whatever, uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of them. If we spot NASA fanboys who are clearly defending the fakery. Ah uh, yes, cutting off the tongues of anyone who disagrees with me because I can't handle criticism and would rather live in my own little bubble where only people who agree with me are here. You flat earthers denying science is one thing, but I didn't think you'd stoop so low as to censor people. Especially considering the fact that you're the one spewing all the nonsense where if there's anyone that should be censored, it's you. But yet no one is doing that. Uh, JL says hope. I'll be good. A fellow YouTuber said rockets are balloons because it moves up so slow, like a balloon compared to a firework or home rocket that shoots up instantly. Thoughts? I completely agree. I think we're looking at glorified um, blimps, basically air balloons. So it's like a it's like a blimp that is assisted by fireworks. Because if you've ever launched a model rocket with even like not even that strong of an engine, it's still just shoots up there so fast bro don't even try to compare your own garbage model rockets that goes 50 feet into the air with an actual nasa rocket that flies to the moon you're actually trolling if you think something you build in your backyard can actually take on the task of breaking the 11 kilometer per second escape velocity to leave the earth's orbit that's like saying you can beat Magnus Carlsen in a game of classical chess because you played checkers that one time when you were five. But even this analogy doesn't capture the full scale of differences between your pathetic model rocket and an actual NASA rocket. And you can tell that these rockets are not going that fast as one of your model rockets, but they claim that it's going faster. And they're like, oh, it's just because it's so big. It looks like it's going slow. Like, no, I can go to the, the Macy's Day Parade and see those the big 
float animals full of air moving slowly down the street, just like I can see a rocket moving slowly upward. Yeah, I haven't seen Jake's content in a while, so I forgot how stupid he is. If you're looking at something far away, it's going to appear to travel slow even if it's moving incredibly fast. Let me use an example that even you can relate to. An airplane. When you see a plane above your head, does it appear to move fast or slow? Of course, in your perspective, it's moving slowly because it's incredibly far away, just like how the camera's set to watch the rockets in the sky are far away as well. That, and the plane being quite a large craft, gives the illusion that it is slow, when in reality it is incredibly quick. So when you launch a model rocket at home, right, if you've ever had a model rocket kit and set one up and then launched it, it's like... Dude, shut the hell up about your model rocket already. You don't expect an actual airplane to fly in the same way as a paper airplane, just like how you don't expect a real rocket to fly like a model rocket. Ugh, it's been five minutes and I already can't stand the way flat earthers think. Please answer me this. The Artemis mission is a collaboration between multiple countries, including Europe, Japan, and Canada space organizations, and is supported by many, many others, including China. Explain to me how multiple countries like this are somehow spreading the same lie or are somehow in sync perfectly. Because it's not just NASA. Okay, I'm out. Bye-bye.